Would you say that it's actually easier not knowing no. Japanese? You're gonna say, yeah, I know I you're disagree. gonna say, no. no. Not at all. No, at you all. speak Japanese, you speak Japanese. I speak Japanese. Right. This chair extends. Yes, this is <laughs> <laughs> Like my penis, oh! Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. Entertainment, and I know a lot of you guys tend to ask me all the time, every time, how do I get to Japan? What is Japan like? How good is the poon in Japan? That was a very offensive word. <laughs> I'm fucking advertiser friendly though, Sam. Yeah! Nevertheless, nevertheless, I figured the best thing I could do is not just ask, answer your questions myself, but get some of these other cool cats in to sort of, uh, you know, shoot at a lot of these questions you guys send me. So, without further ado, it is my honor to introduce to you my council of studly hunka hunkas. We have, to my closest right here, uh, we have uh, Albo from Drift Hunting. Drift Hunter. <laughs> Drift Hunting. Drift Hunter. Drift Hunter. Yeah. So hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. I make videos about street racing in Japan. Oh, I love for you guys to check out my channel. And then next, a long-term friend of mine, the if 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 Victor is the godfather of Jay Vlongi, then he must be the prince. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tikio Sam, baby. Hey, hello everybody. I'm a fat asshole who gets drunk on camera. If you want to see anything related to gay porn in Japan <laughs> and other things, keep watching. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you want to hear about gay porn from a straight man's perspective. <laughs> Be sure to check out. Anyway, uh, this, you want to learn about coming to Japan and being a badass? Check it out. And uh, I'm just gonna get drunk. Uh, I, let's, let's, go, yeah, okay. let's move on. Let's move on. <sighs> Moving on. That was a good intro. That was a really good way. To... Only, so only Sam. It. Only Sam. Moving on. Next, we have the novelist of them all. It's Raimi Michaels. Well, I don't know about them all, but I, I am a novelist. This is the first video I, I do about. Um, Japan. Um, it's the first time I do a YouTube video in this setting period. I just want to say that my life has come full circle because it feels like it was just yesterday that I was lying in my bed. It was February 2013. I saw a video of Tikio Sam's and then I watched the video of Give Me a Break Man, Give Me a Flake Man, Victor, and I was hastened on my decision to uh, go to Oxford seminars and then get my butt here and uh, teach English. So now here I am sitting doing a video with him. So and thank you, Sam. And you're an author. I am yeah. an author, yes. And his yes. head looks like a penis, so you know, it's like, it's perfect. It's a very phallic member it's of perfect. society. Perfect. Nice sheet. Sexual. <laughs> That's uh, immediately. That's what the women are thinking. Go on right? his Amazon and buy his book. Okay. Five stars. Oh, my first book is called Incorrigibility. It's an anti chick lit body irreverent kind of comedy. Sam would love it. That's for and sure. And it's all written down in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, yeah, hey, let's move cool. on to AJ. Cool. <laughs> last, last but not least, definitely he was a little bit of a newcomer to the YouTube scene. He was also featured in my Deadpool in Japan video. Oh, the skit. About that. Yes, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, they do actually. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, AJ here. Uh, Jay Chan. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, everybody? I'm AJ of AJ J Chan. Um, please watch my YouTube videos if you want to learn how to talk some serious shit in both English and Japanese while playing games. There you go. That's what it's right. right. All right, guys, let's get into this uh, conversation really quick. Hey, let's uh, do a, co a, a complimentary compai. All right, let's do here it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's talk about them ditches. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. Like, I, right. I hate my parents. A sup, niggas. <laughs> It's gonna be clean, right, guys? Yeah. It's gonna be 100% clean. 100% clean. <laughs> total, oh, total and imagination. Nay, 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 come here. Real quick. Conoco, come here. Really quick, uh, uh, the lovely Conoco has been uh, serving us some drinks. Yeah, here. thanks, Conoco. Just say hello, real she quick. She made the snacks. Can you get in there? Yeah. She made, she made the decorations. Just wave, say yeah. hello. Hello. Okay. Thanks, Conoco. You make some badass fucking snacks, yo. Yeah. The shiz. Yep. Arizamas. Okay, you can go back to the water. <laughs> get back in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why don't you guys tell us uh, really quickly, where are you guys from and how long have you been in Japan? Two sentence answers. Go! 100 years. No. 
Liar! Six years, I've been here since 2010. I live in Gunma Prefecture, which is a couple of prefectures north of Tokyo. And it's been an amazing time. Cool. Yeah. I've been in, uh, here for, oh my god, too long. Almost 10 years! And I've been the whole time on YouTube. Go check out all my videos. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, wait, did you ask where we're from? Or where are we Yeah, where are you now? originally from? Uh, I'm from oh, New York see. City. At least that's why I tell people on my Tinder profile. And, uh, <laughs> I live in Tokyo, Ikebukuro. West Tokyo to Park, it's like, oh, have some park. <laughs> How about not you? Yet, not yet, actually. There you go. Uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada. <laughs> oh, I've been in Japan for that? three years. Uh, yeah, he's from Toronto as well. And um, at first I was living in Saitama, in a little town called Okigawashi, for four and a half months. And then I moved to Tokyo, where I've been uh, ever since. So okay. yeah, I love it here. Can't get enough of it. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I've been in uh, Japan about a total of uh, eight years now. And uh, oh, I've been shit. in Tokyo about five or six. <laughs> no, five years. Wow. And uh, no, it's gonna be six. Anyway, um, I've been all over the place, but uh, Tokyo's my home. It's, it's the shit. I cool. Tokyo. Fuck yes. Yeah. So and as you, me, as many of you guys know, I've been in Japan now for about six years. I've been touring Japan uh, for over ten years now, but I've been living permanently in Japan for six years. One year in Nerima, which is like the Tokyo area, then four years in Fukuoka, which is the southern part Kyushu area, and then uh, for now, uh, one year now, I've been here out in Kawasaki, Tokyo area, so kind of there we go. Cool, so now you guys know, and a quick disclaimer, you know, we are drinking, and I do want to let you guys know we are very, very uh, respectful toward the female form, but this I'm not. <laughs> But this is a guy's talk, and guys tend to say some guy things. <laughs> if you got offended, now, I things. highly suggest changing the channel right now. <laughs> no, 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 keep watching. Oh, so it gets good. I mean, keep watching, because <laughs> it gets good. The more drunk he gets, the better it's going to get. For relaxing times, make it... Suntory time. Suntory time. But you have a this is the guy that was talking about gay porn earlier. Gay sex. Gay well, it's gay porn from a straight perspective, because, you know, see, <laughs> no one's doing that yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's hard to be a producer and an actor as well, you know? This is a good point. Yeah. All right, let's get right into it, guys. So you guys are all single right now, right? Yeah. And uh, for quite some time, uh, shortly, anybody newly back in the single game right now? Nobody? It's been single about It's been, years. okay, so for so some time. So what advice, or just based on your own experiences, would you give for where to meet the women, where to meet the ladies? Especially, I guess, in Tokyo. Let's focus on that. Can I just say, I, I would uh, first and foremost recommend not to confine yourself, to find them anywhere and everywhere. And you can't do that here because it's a Nampa culture, a pickup culture, right? Okay. So, so yeah, go to pub crawls, go to clubs, go on the street, just to talk to them randomly on the street, you know, in a McDonald's, in, in a Starbucks. Right. You can meet them anywhere, an international party, you know, which is designed for that. Um, but okay, there's, the, I mean, the sky's, yeah, the sky's <laughs> the limit. You, know, you can talk to them anywhere and it's not weird, as, as long as you're not overly weird yourself, I mean, it should be, it should be okay. You know? Rape dungeons, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Would you guys say that it's actually hard to talk to women here in Japan? Nah. Because, especially because of the language differences. That's, I think that's something a lot of my viewers sometimes feel like if they try to approach a woman uh, and they can't speak Japanese, it's really difficult. You don't speak Japanese that well. Why don't you tell us? Okay, I barely speak any Japanese, Drew. I, um... Uh... Early on, when I uh, first moved here, I, I um, started memorizing full lines, like opening lines, you know, um, that to get me started in a conversation, I would learn more and more, and um, then once the conversation got too deep and I couldn't carry it, we would rely on translator, or they would suddenly have to turn to their very limited English. Sometimes they speak English well, or fairly well, but it's rare, it is rare. So it is a concern, but it's not so much of a, a concern that they should allow it to just hinder them for too long, because it doesn't take long to at least like remember a few sentences by practicing and you know committing them to memory to get a conversation going but um, that being said even if you're fluent in Japanese it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy um, uh, for me it's way easier than Toronto that's for sure I see. but I wouldn't call it easy no. I see. Yeah. Now, well, what, well, what I was going to say that he makes a very good uh, interesting point and somebody can pick up from this would you say that it's actually easier not knowing no. Japanese. You're gonna say, yeah, and I you're disagree. gonna say, no. no not at all. No, at you all. speak Japanese, you speak Japanese, I speak Japanese. Right. This chair extends. Yes, this is <laughs> <laughs> Like my penis, oh! It doesn't extend. It was a joke. But they, um, no, I, I mean, I love using Japanese. I know you love using Japanese. I know you use Japanese too. 
I mean, we came here for sushi, not for sushi hamburgers, you know? <laughs> we didn't come here for the Kokusai fucking sushi, you know? Okay. We want the whole mono. Yeah, okay. but that, that being said, I think, when you come here, even if, like, for you guys who might be interested in coming to Japan, when you come here, you don't speak any Japanese. Don't let that hinder you from trying to approach. No, and of course not. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's the best thing. People always talk about all this bullshit about microaggressions. I'm like, God, he asked me if I use chopsticks. He's racist. Shut up, bitch. He's giving you free attention. <laughs> like, what the fuck's your problem? Fortunately, nobody's going to get triggered if you approach them and try to talk to them. Right, right. I mean, people are going to be like, whoa, my life is boring as shit. This person out of, no I don't know where the fuck came up and talked to me. And as soon as you're charming, you're sexy. I mean, come on, AJ, you got the fucking six pack. You just go up and you're like, hey, you want that? I do that, but my six pack's in the cool. Now, Let's... now, would you say, would you say that the quality though of women improve based upon the better your Japanese is, you can kind of hit the tens and the eleven, so to speak, because of the fact that you can speak Japanese more fluently. AJ? No, Actually, no, no. Okay, <laughs> disagree. I think. As well. um, the point system and uh, your ability to talk to the tens and the nines is actually something a little more deep than just the academic ability to speak a language. I That's think a, you, you gotta have, have game have, while you talk. Yeah, you gotta have game. game. You gotta have confidence. You also have to have kind of like a plan because the higher up you get, I guess, on the the food chain, the more challenges you're gonna have to deal with. And the girls that are tens and nines and all that. You know, they, they have dudes coming at them constantly. That's a good point. That's right? a very good point because there's no difference between a 10 and a 9 in Japan right. and a 10 and a 9 in your own home country. Right. Yeah. And they're, they're, it's still going to be a challenge to try to take them out. Right. Like, they're just yeah. getting, they're getting fed free power True. constantly, True. right? Well, I think it's kind of like, you know, I mean, Not it's free. funny how we have a group of mixed like M&M's or Skittles here because like you know we got There's no brown Skittles oh, yeah. <laughs> there are brown Skittles seriously uh, racism well, <laughs> it's not racism no, it's, it's just, good yeah yes. exactly like, okay, well I mean like what is it people like you've seen those stupid fucking YouTube things where it's like I'm Asian can I get a chicken in Japan if I'm not like this guy I'm gonna be always single alone for the rest of my life I'm black can I get an Asian in Japan I'm Tall and from Canada, can I get Asian Japan? <laughs> and you're like, it's just like, right now, you know, I'm just saying like, you know, I, I really like both of you, like, you know, especially your guys' advice when it comes to gay chicks, because it's like, all these stupid ass fucking Google search stereotypes where it's like, I suck, I have something that I think hinders me, and like, you know, will that be a big deal? I'm like, dude, I'm fat, and I have to, you know, it's just like, playing the video game but playing in a hard mode uh, and you guys are on the same hard mode except you don't got the big gut you got the the thing going here you, know? like, the th <laughs> you got the you got the year-long tan and you got the squinty eyes i'm just saying i'm just saying you got a little bit of the same a you got a little bit of b and i got a little bit of c that's all and but b. More, well now what a, okay asian so black. let's talk let's <laughs> asian black uh, colored <laughs> Skittles. Skittles. Okay. Yes. All right. So now let's talk about misconceptions that some people might have. One of the things that I have noticed a lot is the fact that some people feel like moving to Japan will suddenly change every problem you have in your own home country. That true, when you come true. to Japan, you there's a uh, I think all of you guys knows this comic. It's called Charisma Man. I love that oh, comic. I love that comic. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's now uh, it, I recommend you guys Google this. I don't want to get into it too much, but it's a really funny story. Basically, it uh, it hops on the ten two law or the two ten law, basically saying that if you're a two in your home country, when you come to Japan. <laughs> You're automatically a 10 and there is some truth to that But sometimes people get a little their heads get a little big-headed a little bloated here now Would you guys say that that's kind of true that that's affected you in your own dating life sometimes? Can I say something? All right, so I live way out in the countryside Gunma, which is very Fucking famous countryside. for yeah for initial <laughs> the uh, countryside there, There's a lot of good things about the countryside. It's, it's not even that country, but the point is up in Gunma, there's not as many foreigners as there are in Tokyo. So the relative rareness of a foreigner is much higher out in the countryside. So I do have some friends who get that superstar treatment. Mm -hmm. Maybe more so than 
comparatively here in Tokyo. It's funny because I'll contradict that a little bit. In the four years that I lived in Fukuoka, that was actually the hardest for me to actually go dating because <laughs> there, there, because there wasn't an international sort of connection, and people put me on a like celebrity. Pedestal, but nobody actually wanted to come down and like mix with me. Basically, like you were the celebrity, but you were kind of like like you couldn't have that common situation. Maybe it's kind of cool to like get, like one night stands or whatever the case might be. Somebody wants to bang a foreigner for one night, but in terms of like establishing a long term relationship, I actually found that the hardest in Fukuoka trying to have. A connectivity. Did you try Tinder? Our buddy Ty. Our buddy Ty. It wasn't even out at that time. It wasn't, man. Oh, it was. was. Because our buddy Ty is like just fucking tearing ass there. <laughs> he's just like getting into it every night. But he's in Osaka, right? No, no, he's in Kyushu, like Kita Kyushu, like fucking Kyushu. Okay, well, side. Kita Kyushu has a lot of bitches out there. That's not <laughs> fair. No, it's not no fair. like I almost moved to Kita Kyushu really quick because I went there for one Halloween night. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Like that, no. I was, oh, well, oh my god, I was where I was yeah. staying was like rice fields and obachans every day. There, well, where people were breaking down. Well, we can talk about the glory days as much as possible. But if you guys come here and you look relatively good looking and you don't have a big fat gut like me, see, I gotta try. But if you look like any of these guys here, all you gotta do is like take a nice selfie and be like, "Hi, Nihongo, Tabe Mas," and then just like, oh, <laughs> you can meet chicks. Oh, Atashi mo Nihongo Tabe Mas, yeah, and then you're like. Wow, we have such a connection. We should do something here. But you, well, I mean, wait, wait, wait. A show of hands. Who has met chicks online versus in real life? Who's met them online? I have met chicks online. Is that the question? I, well, no, a majority of the women you meet are they online? Ah, uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. See, how many of us meet them in real life as a majority? Yeah. yeah, yeah See, yeah. That, well, I mean, you know, hey, you guys <laughs> were, are working with a better meat market than me. But I'm just saying. <laughs> It, it, okay, wait, wait, so what, what, what was the question? Another <laughs> <laughs> one! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's okay. not enough! Hey guys, it's Albo. So, Akasan asked me to edit this video because all the clips were in my camera. And uh, it was a ton of fun hanging out with the guys and talking about relationships and dating here in Japan. Uh, please be sure to check out the next part of the video, which is going to come out basically as soon as I finish editing. Um, by the time you watch this, it might already be out, so please check the description box down below. I'd also really love it if you check out my channel, Drift Hunter Elbow, and I'm producing a documentary series called Drift Hunter, which is about the underground street racing and drifting scene here in Japan and around Gunma. So here's a quick clip. This is a chronicle of my personal experience exploring the real-life equivalent of Initial D. This is real street racing and drifting in the mountain roads of Gunma. This is Drift Hunter. Alright, so thanks again for watching and please be sure to check out uh, my channel and also Sam, AJ and Raimi's channel which you can find right here and also of course in the, in the description box down below. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All my friends are heating, take it slow. Wait for them to act.